Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today is all about 2020 goals. This year I really want to do a lot. I want to really like self-improve and just overall be happy. I feel like that's my number one priority, just to be happy. Like that's so important above all. I thought just instead of talking to the camera, I'll do my makeup. I think I'm going to go olive on the eyes and a bright orange lip. We'll see how it goes. I'm just going to start off with the Grown Alchemist. Bot botanical beauty hydro pair day, day cream this stuff's very hydrating so i just love to put it under my makeup then i'm going to be taking the super fruit extract um primer this stuff smells amazing before we jump into my goals i want to tell you guys that when you do goal set uh, have your main goals and under each one write stuff that you're going to do that will help you reach that goal. And I feel like it's really important to be specific in that part. Because when you say, uh, for example, I wanna drink more water in 2020. Um, how much water? Is that daily? Is that weekly? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna buy a bottle from Amazon? Are you gonna use a tracker? Um, what are you gonna do to help you drink water and make sure you maintain it? By the way, before we start, I'm gonna be applying some of my Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15 by Wet n Wild. This is in the shade Tan, oh no, sorry, Tawny. Um, it's a cool spongy um, foundation and I used to love this, so we're gonna apply this. So my number one goal, like the main one for me this year is to be healthy, to be healthy and fit. Now for me at first it was to lose weight and I do still want to lose a bit more weight. So I've also signed up to the gym. It will only be part of my weekend routine because it's just not achievable to go in a week. I just, because I work, I can't. It's right to find a balance guys. I can't emphasize this enough. If I went to the gym in a week, I'll just be totally exhausted, but I will keep my home workouts regular, my treadmill runs, um, but I will go in the gym just to like, like help myself with heavier weights. I do want to like tone up and just feel stronger. I want to be able to do push-ups. These are more specific things, be able to do push-ups properly, be able to do pull-ups. There's just so many things health-wise. I think health is just so important, especially as I get older, I just always want to be fit, as fit as I can. And for me, I can just isolate myself so easily and binge eat. So I really want to prevent that. And if I am frustrated, I just want to transfer that energy into exercising and running rather than eating and watching Netflix. All right, so next up, I'm going to be using some of my Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I'm using the shades number nine and number seven. I do want it to be a light center, so I'm going to put more of number seven. Although you don't even need this much concealer. Trying to scrape some of it away. My next big goal is to reach 100k on Instagram this year. I feel like I've put so much work over these past two weeks. I've been off from work, like work work, real life situation work. Um, I've put a lot of work onto my Instagram doing these quick like mini makeup tutorials for you guys. I watch them personally when I'm on Instagram. It's just fun and it's quick and it gives you inspiration for makeup ideas. Um, and I feel like a lot of people like it too. I really wanna take Instagram more seriously this year. So more specifically posting at least once a day um, this is like good tips for you guys if you want to get started on Instagram I feel like you really have to be consistent use those hashtags and yeah just don't stop posting like post constantly post good quality content with good lighting um, and do like different kind of looks so yeah I, I find them really fun um, sometimes I'm lucky because I do YouTube if I can turn my YouTube looks into mini Instagram tutorials for everyone that's on Instagram because not everyone on YouTube follows me on Instagram and vice versa so yeah I just want to take it seriously and hopefully I can reach 100k this year if you don't follow me on Instagram yet if you want to help me out with this goal do follow me. There is a direct link in the info box. Now to set that in place I'm going to use the Revolution Bacon Blot banana deep powder just to set that in place just using my sponge next i'm going to be using my butter bronzer by physicians formula this bronzer is so nice goal number three i really 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 want to get to 200k 
on YouTube. I feel like YouTube's my baby. I've worked so hard on it. Because I've been working my full-time job in London, an office job, if you guys didn't know, I was really scared to give up. Not give up, but slowly just cut back on posting. And I'm really, really, really just happy and proud of myself that I, like, kept pushing through 2019. Like, I'm so glad I did that. Held on so tightly to my channel and I didn't give up on you guys and just, it's just something I love. So being tired didn't matter. Having no sleepless nights didn't matter. Editing on the train whilst everyone's watching what I'm doing on my computer did not matter. That's why this year I really want to reach that 200k goal. Um, yeah, it's just really, really important to me. I'll never, never give up on you guys on this channel. Like, it's like my baby. More specifically this year, I also want to change up my content. I don't want to stick to just makeup tutorials. I've always said this. You guys love my food videos. I feel like, yes, this channel is predominantly a makeup and beauty channel, but who doesn't love food as well? I mean, like, what? You guys really enjoy my food videos i want you we, we want to do more of those and i want to do more lifestyle like fun videos like challenge not challenge videos like experimenting stuff i have so much planned like product reviews is a big one but i have one that's coming which is so out of the ordinary and like more skincare stuff and just um health stuff more what i eat in a day videos i just have so much planned for this year if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet we'll get close to this one yeah can you please hit the red button? Yep, yeah, just, just subscribe right now. It'll mean the world to me, honestly. Now that I'm all bronzed up, I'm gonna use the Ofra Nikki Tutorials Glow Goals Highlighter. I actually forgot to put blush, so I'm gonna use this Revolution Patricia Bright Face Palette. This is in the shade You Are Gold, and I'm gonna take the blush from this because it's absolutely gorgeous, and these blend like a dream. I feel like blush just does everything. My next goal is to save money. Monies, okay? We all need this goal, okay? We need to save. I want all of you to save. I'm not gonna lie with you, I'm not the best at saving. I'm, I'm just, I just love to spend, I love to buy. And I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't feel bad for that, but you need to save. You need to be smart with your budgeting. Saving is just gonna allow you to, you know, buy something that you've been wanting to buy for a long, long time. Invest in a holiday, save for a house. I feel like saving can only do you good. There's no bad that comes out of it. So the standard is to save 10% of the money you receive every month. If I get more in a particular month, I will always put a bit more into my savings account. And yeah, guys, it's as simple as that. I want you all to save. I really want you all to do it. It will only do you good and I just want that for you guys. <laughs> Something else to like just overall save money. I've done like more specific things like reduce my Uber Eats orders because I absolutely love Uber Eats, okay, and Deliveroo. I mean, it was just the best thing ever. My whole life I've said, when are we gonna get McDonald's delivery? We finally got it, yeah? I literally order all the time. Like these past two weeks, I've been ordering every day. I've been on holiday, so, you know, it's okay to splurge and just, you know, live a little, but you need to control yourself, more specifically me. So yeah, for me, it's reducing Uber Eats orders. I'm not gonna be ordering at all. Even when I was working, I would order like Uber Eats every day. Like I would come home and order. This was when I was a bit less healthy as well. I wasn't eating properly to compensate for less food basically, because obviously I'm not ordering every day anymore. Um, and I get really tired throughout the week. I'm gonna be meal prepping. And I did this toward the end, towards the end of the year. It really helped me save so much money and it's so convenient. Like at lunchtime, I would not spend anything at work that's another thing as well at lunchtime in central yeah we go out and we literally spend 10 to 20 pounds on lunch and that is insane just count 10 pounds a day for lunch yeah five days a week 50 pounds times four that's 200 pounds on food for lunch not to forget i would order in the evening so you have that money as well so my biggest issue which is very specific to me is to stop ordering so much. I've also got everything I need to make a fancy cup of coffee at home. I don't need no Starbucks. I know I love you Starbucks, okay? But not only are you so sweet and you're not good for my body, yeah? But 
you cost a lot of money like you actually do five pounds for a small cup like what is going on you know sometimes like literally on my way to work there's a starbucks right there like once i've passed it i'm like yes did it i feel like need i need the rocky soundtrack for actually just walking through past that starbucks um so yeah money save money this year guys i really want you all to do that next i'm going to be using the nars soft matte complete concealer in biscuit as my eye base it's a bit lighter and it's just going to make your eyeshadow pop you know all right for eyeshadow palette we're going to be using the jaclyn hill eyeshadow palette uh this is the armed and gorgeous one do any of you guys not like hyped about jacqueline hill cosmetics anymore i mean i feel like she's been through a lot this year but her makeup skills are insane um i mean sometimes i struggle to blend with it but i really want the khaki color in this palette okay <laughs> hopefully we don't get no fallout on this beautiful base that we've just worked on i'm just gonna put this in the outer corner only and like in the crease so my next big goal is to travel again 2019 was an amazing year because i was able to go to turkey and do my teeth um which has been the best decision i've ever made because you don't understand how my teeth are affecting me internally and now i smile my confidence has boosted and i just feel amazing so like that was one of my 2019 highlights and i didn't travel like for more than like seven years so just like taking the plane with my my, my husband and just like traveling and seeing the sea view like got me so emotional and it's just it's just crazy like i want to travel more this year so um one of the, a few places that i really want to go to i don't know if i'm going to do many places maybe like a couple if i can <laughs> but i really really do want to um go to thailand or the philippines like the islands or la i don't know yeah that's what I want. That's where I want to go. So not only do I want a, like a healthy, like you know, toned body for my holidays, <clears throat> but savings also going to help me with this goal as well. So sometimes your goals will like intertwine and help each other out. But yeah, traveling is another thing I really, really want to do this year, and just do loads of like water sports and just hiking activities. We wanted to do like um, a whole day to like the Green Canyons, I think, in Turkey. Antalya but it just didn't work out because we had so many like dentist appointments right next up we're going to use some of the hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in vivid which is a beautiful olive green another thing i really want to do is really train myself to run like a three mile run um like a, like a, it's not even a marathon it's just a run um for charity um i really wanted to raise money for charity this year and do something in exchange so basically run and if i can do a three mile one my next step would be a six mile i think it's a short marathon i don't know how it works so not only are you like getting healthy and you're you know getting in shape but you're helping a good cause you're helping many people out there so i really want to do that this year next we're going to use some eyeliner this is the Ico I do liquid eyeliner my liner off camera because I literally can't talk when I'm doing my liner <laughs> next I'm using the Maybelline push up angel mascara we're gonna put lashes on so i'm not gonna put too much this is just to like lift them up a bit and also if you have any excess um eyeshadow i literally just poked myself in the eye. yeah so just to summarize it up i want to run for charity basically three miles i'm not gonna kill myself three miles is gonna be a huge milestone if i can even do that alone i'm just waiting for my lashes to dry but in the meantime i'm gonna use some clear lash glue and use these festival face chunky festival glitters and i just want a bit of oomph So then next i'm going to use my lights camera london cosmetic lashes in the style london just trying to put these on and i think my final goal for this year which is kind of a big one and if i do do it it would be amazing is to make like some sort of t-shirt or hoodie um for you guys that we can all like just wear together 
not merch necessarily is it merch maybe it's merch because it won't be a full line because i don't know if i can attain that i feel like it's important to be realistic with your goals um but i really want to do like some sort of shirts or i don't know and finally we're going to use some of the zoeva pure matte lipstick in the shade about turn the glitter is a fail maybe here it's like nice but i don't know what i was trying to do there but we'll just leave it because it's done so yeah guys for my last goal is definitely just some sort of merch this year i just want us to all rock like a cool t-shirt give me some ideas of what you'd like to see i've been drawing some stuff i was so close to doing it last year but it didn't work out because the majority of you are in the uk so it doesn't make sense to produce them in the states like it's just and the shipping like it will just be insane it's not worth it let me know what you guys are willing to pay for like a t-shirt or a hoodie so let me know what some of your goals are i mean you don't have to share them they're really personal to be honest i'm just an open book sometimes i would love to hear you guys as one but i want saving money on yours thanks so much for taking time to watch this video subscribe if you haven't already and yeah here's to 2020 guys like, i'm so excited for all of us i'm just so excited for this year i really forgot to mention a goal that i'm gonna put out there is to read more i read more books which i've done like i did one book last year because i started towards the end of the year and i watched girls stop apologizing which is amazing um my sister bought the patricia um heart and hustle book i think that's what it's called I'm so excited to start reading that on the train. Um, so yeah, definitely 2020, I'm gonna be reading more and also just reading to expand my knowledge at work because I have so much to learn about investment banking. There's just so much and I wanna do that more in, in this year as well. Just expand my knowledge and just learn as much as I can. I wanna stop blabbering. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's so motivating, it's so positive and I really hope you guys feel that. I love watching these videos. I've just been binge watching a bunch of 2020 goal videos from like YouTubers I've never watched before. It's just it's just cool to see what people's goals are. Um, and it, sometimes it doesn't matter what it is. It can be self growth, happiness. It can be spending more time with family. It can be money. It can be work wise. It can be relationship, you know, meet more people. So don't feel like a goal is like not a goal. Like it can be anything you want, okay? All right, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Before I go, here's a quick close up of the look.